Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Okay, YouTubers. Uh, now, I said I wasn't going to do another one on Mount Sharp. I lied. Um, I did say that if I, unless I found something that really outstanding I wouldn't bother doing any more boats and, and ships on on uh, Mount Sharp well this one is pretty outstanding I think there's something really cool you're gonna love this you're gonna absolutely love this one now this is the image the better image that I used to, to get to find this uh, particular boat um, this is from I, all I did is I, I, I googled uh, Mount Sharp and this is an image that came up I'll show you where I got it from uh, this is the uh, it's, this is a JPEG. It's not it's not even a TIFF or anything. This is only 72 DPI, so it's not a brilliant image, but it's better quality than the one you get from the NASA website for some reason. I don't I don't know why. Um, I'll show you where I got it from. There's also this website which is really cool called Mars Rover's Images, and it's got all the souls along the bottom here. As panoramics, they're all being stitched together, so you don't have to download lots of separate little images and search for dozens and dozens of photographs. You can just download a whole big image at a time, usually around about 11 megabytes or thereabouts. The larger ones, um, they're pretty good, and and uh, they're it's much much easier than than downloading stuff from from the NASA website because they're all in all the all the groups are done as single large panoramic images so it's, it's really cool and you're far more likely to find something in one of these than you are in a single image because they're just much, they're much much bigger so I do recommend this I'll put links to all this stuff in the description as usual um, that's where I got some of this stuff from um, here's the here's the image uh, now it's been a, it's a stitch together panoramic again it's not a huge one this one is this is sort of reasonable size 4100 by 1320 pixels from unmannedspaceflight.com so this is um, Sol 37 Mount Sharp image okay so that's where I got it from all the links will be in the description as usual right let's get straight on with it I'm going to keep this one nice and short for you this is cool you're going to love this now first of all this is a clip from that large image I just showed you here's the large image which I downloaded and I've just gone around the area where the boat is. Now this is a riverbed down here. This this is blue. This blue sand was once a lake or riverbed or whatever you want to call it. Um, now you, you know you'd expect to find a, a, a wrecked boat in a riverbed. I think especially if it's dried up. And there's one right here. Um, now it's pretty simple to find. You just look along here, and there's a boat. <laughs> just look for a boat and you will find a boat simple um, <laughs> it's that easy uh, here's a clip of that now, this hasn't been enhanced or anything I think I think they've already kind of white balanced the image a bit and, and uh, just kind of changed the tone of the image slightly already now this is I've just clipped this straight out nothing's been done to this at all by me okay here we go now here's the boat here's the front end of the boat here the bow, there's the stern here. You can see a kind of white bit where it's been painted white underneath. It's kind of sunk into the sand here. Uh, this is the river bed or lake bed here. Um, you can see an upper section here and the back of the boat here. As it come, kind of comes out further, you can see this bit here. There, uh, the roof. There's a bit sticking up here. Now. One thing that I spotted before I even noticed the boat was this strange thing here. Now this, to me, looks to be a nameplate or number plate on the front of the boat. Just on the front of the boat. Now, when I show you the enhanced version, you can actually see before you even start darkening this or playing with the contrast or anything, or sharpening it, you can see what looks like a number two and number nine and then there's a dot and there's an S there the famous Mars S which seems to crop up almost everywhere um, what can I say well I'll show you the enhanced clips I've taken now this was the first one I've done 
as you can tell, I, I didn't draw round it brilliantly the first time round. I did that fairly quickly. It's probably went too low down at the bottom here. And this is the sort of colours you get when you enhance the contrast. It goes very green and brown and, and sort of blotchy, uh, which is pretty ugly. But you can see clearly here the number 29.S. 29S. Now, <laughs> yes, okay, maybe they don't speak, don't have English writing on Mars, but those are those are clearly symbols. Uh, this may not be a number nine. This may not be a number two. We're only seeing the edge of that. There's probably more stuff around the f the front of this boat that we're not seeing. Um, could this be a higher boat? <laughs> you know, uh, number twenty nine S, come in. Your time is up, please. I mean, is this a higher boat? Who knows? Um, Normally, uh, my brother has a boat, uh, my, but both my brothers um, have boats. My, my younger brother, Tom, is a boat builder. Um, he's actually just built a Viking longboat, which will be launched very soon in Falmouth. Uh, so, uh, they're a little bit about boats. I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I've got family members from the Navy and uh, people in the family that build them and, and uh, go out on them every day and I expect my older brother Dan is out on his boat right now fishing. Not dissimilar to this in size, uh, this is probably a, I can't tell you exactly how long it is because I don't know exactly how far away it is but it's quite large, I'd say it's something like 30 foot long, uh, 20 to 30 foot long, something like that. Um, so the uh, there doesn't seem to be any windows in here can't see any windows. Uh, I expect this is the, the the cabin sort of here. Now there may be a small window here at the front that we can't see because we're side on to it. And I expect the skipper would stand back here and there's probably a steering wheel back here somewhere uh, where, where you can steer from. Uh, <laughs> uh, what can I say? Uh, let me show you the other clips I've done. I mean that's not bad. That's not bad. I've had to sharpen that and soften it a bit. Um, to get rid of some of the pixelation, but it's not bad, even though it's only 70, I think it's 72 dpi, this image. Let's have a look. Um, there, there we go. So, uh, what's the dpi? Now, I've already upped the dpi on this one, because I've clipped it. Let's go back to the original here, and see what the dpi is there. I think it's 72, yeah, so it's not great. 72 per inch, I mean, that's that's hardly anything. This is probably being taken from the NASA viewer where you get these panoramic viewers on their on their website and you can kind of get images from that so they're, they're lower res but actually they're not over compressed you don't have these nasty over compression lines that you get in I went to the, the original Sol which is Sol 37 from the from the mass cam curiosity uh, and you get you get their version of the same spot and it's much worse uh, here it is this is their so-called raw image. Now, this is this isn't a raw image. It's been over compressed and resized. So when you go in close, you get all this grunge. You see these blocks here. You see them? You get all these blocks. That's where it's been badly resized. And this is the same with 99% of all the images on the NASA website. It's an absolute joke. So if you can go to some of these other websites and get them from elsewhere because they're hugely better quality than the ones on the NASA website uh, which says a lot doesn't it really it says an awful lot I know they've got a hell of a lot of stuff on their website which is probably why they do this but there really is no need to compress them that badly they, there is a much easier and, and cleaner way of doing this uh, which they should be doing right okay that's my whinge out of the way about NASA so here we go here's here's the number here's the number plate I haven't done anything to that that's straight off the off the, the main image there. Now I, I, that was my first attempt, this 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 one here. Now what I did again, this time I grayscaled it and then drew around it again a bit more carefully this time. This is a bit neater. And then I then I I once I selected the central part here of the boat, I just uh, changed the colour temperature to get this funny colour here. This sort of greeny sort of colour. I've done some different edits of this, so the different colours will show different detail, the different filters I've used. Now look at the look at the number plate. Look how clear that is now. Look at that, 29.s. Okay, <laughs> there's that one. Okay, here's another one. Obviously the same image that's just been 
color different t color temperature there I'll call it right down there to, to blue there we go again the same detail 29.s on the number plate at the front you can see some sort of damage here towards the back of the the, uh, the boat there's there's a sort of crumpled area there um, it's a it looks like there's some damage up the front here but actually it's in pretty good condition I mean uh, we're not that far away from it so the details pretty good I think it's probably about 50 meters away from the camera uh, or less it's not miles away um, this is right at the bottom of Mount Sharp in the in the dried out river or lake bed uh, there's the there's another edit of it there see look there I haven't I haven't softened it so much here let's sharpen that up a little bit for you because um you can really get this out this this detail let's make that brush a bit bigger there we go let's just go over that there we go see we see the numbers 29s there we go what can I say um, <laughs> why should they ha not have the same or similar uh, n numbers and sim letter symbols to us why shouldn't they uh, maybe they are maybe they got some of their stuff from us maybe we got some of our stuff from them who knows we really don't know um, we could have been sold a complete sack of lies about Mars and I think we have on the whole especially by by certain space organizations around the world they're 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 kind of like they've done with the moon they've sort of given us a few tidbits here and there um, I'm just sharpening this a little bit they've given us a few tidbits here and there and then on the other hand they they sort of deny that these buildings and structures exist and they're all over the place I found in the last week I must have found something like 30 boats on the boats and ships on the side of Mount Sharp um, as you will see on my channel some of them are huge I found a submarine I found a battleship I found I found aircraft I found what looked like huge bombers massive that's two or three hundred meters long some of these things are this is just an all kind of pleasure boat type thing that some guy would have perhaps ferried people across the the the, uh, the water with you know um, I have found lots of chains and, and other mooring areas in in scale crater as well with sort of chains kind of encrusted on the side of rocks and I thought to myself then this was a months back I thought to myself then if there are chains there on the side of what looked like dock sides on in, in Gale Crater or parts of docks then there must be boats and and, the, and I, I knew I would probably eventually find some and, and here is one of the best ones I mean this is not the biggest but it's one of the closest and it's got that detail there the, the, the number plate which makes it to me really makes this a smoking gun find let's get right up close to that and you see that nice and close there we go what else can it possibly be? It's a boat. Look at the front end of it. You can even see some good detail here of where it's been damaged. I mean, I've sharpened that up a little bit for you. Look at it. It's a boat, for God's sake. <laughs> Anyone who tries to tell me this is a rock is, is, is just an idiot. I mean, come on. There's a negative of it, just to show that you can still see the letters, even when you turn it to negative. Um, you can see that there's a bit of damage down here as well you can see there's more damage here but um, there you go what can I say I won't keep this too long thanks for watching everybody thanks to all my subscribers you've been great I shall see you all soon